Alright, welcome back to Bike Talk episode 10, where I review or roast your bike. And first up we got Harris. What's up Harris? Hello, I'm Harris from Indonesia. I love your content. Thank you very much. Here's my bike frame. Federal Lady 95 Series Wildcat 26, Shimano Altus Group Set, Converted Disc Brakes, Ascension Fork, Please Roast. All right, so first up, little close up of these uh, rusty ass bars that's not looking that good. And then he's also got kind of like a rubber band holding on his light here. I feel like this would get super annoying just because if you're holding it on just by a rubber band, it'll kind of turn up and turn down every time you ride. You can also see down here, he's got it, <laughs> he's got it down at the fork as well. I think this light could definitely go into his wheels and rock around as well. Looks like he's got this uh, big watermelon right here, watermelon slice, must be pretty hungry. I don't know how long this would last on the ride though. I feel like it would get kind of squashed and then wouldn't be that refreshing anymore. Down here, roasting him for the reflector. Got a little pick in shadow here, non-drive side shot. We'll just ignore that one. All right, he's got a pretty uh, pretty nice shot, I think. So yeah, it looks like he's running disc brakes. He must have upgraded this reframe, I think, or did some type of conversion here. I can't really tell, but he's running dual disc. And then it looks like he laced up some old uh, some old rims. He laced up some old rim, rim brake rims and then put new disc hubs on there, which I think is pretty funny. Got some nice tires going on. I think they're Kenda 8 block. Got a lot of accessories going on here as well. Got this upright position, bar ends, and yeah, got the shocks going on. Got the bags, got a lot of accessories, got the mirror. No bar end here, bar end cap. And you got a front rack, got a little useless cable lock here. Get cut off pretty easily. Um, but yeah, overall, I think kind of looks looks like a, like a mum bike vibe and then down here you can see that he's gone on a ride with one of his friends and he kind of just finished his watermelon i think he must have been pretty thirsty and then another picture here of a, of a model jet and a model boat i guess pretty cool pretty cool looking um, but yeah that's basically it got a little kickstand here not much else to roast on this bike i think he just probably just went a little bit overboard with all the accessories that's all um, but yeah overall looks like a, a great bike Thanks for sending Harris. Good for getting groceries. All right, next one is Tim. All right, he says, Hey Gary, love the new series. Inspires, inspires me to build new bikes. Decided to send you my main commuter bike, which ran through some iterations already. I've have a love-hate relationship with this thing, mostly because it's a little too small for me and the cranks are seized and the BB needs an overhaul. It also has a really long crack on the seat too, probably from someone clamping it down for whatever reason, but Unfortunately, I only noticed after purchase. Learn something for the future there. The bike came mostly stock with an LX group set. I converted it to a one by setup with a Dior Thummy mountain upside down. Parts list for those who are interested. Cockpit, 720 Tomaselli motor bars, Primo top low, fly bikes, Devon simile grips, Dior thumb shifter and friction frame, track single track, 950, 92. Drivetrain, Dior LX, brakes, cantilever Shimano, LX maybe, wheels, LX hub to Mavics, tires, Michelin Town King, fenders by SKS, other parts, generic front rack, generic front rack and a found basket, LED front light, federal pedal stolen from BMX, uncomfortable saddle, Italian brook saddle and pink Jag wire cable housing. Feel free to roast this thing, gets me around town, brakes and shifts, so that's what counts i guess it kind of looks good though greetings from germany thanks tim all right here it is yeah i'd say overall just pretty much a just a your standard commuter i feel like these cables are probably stressing out a bit just uh, going straight up because of the basket here you can probably shorten these up a bit i think and then he's got this uh, long uh, stem i'm not sure what's going on there it looks like pvc pipe because yeah we all know stem stem spaces are super expensive Let's see what else he's got. Gonna, I'm going to roast him for this uh, top two pad on the bars here. I think you only uh, only need one of those if you plan on hitting your head on the bars. So I don't know if that's what he's planning. But other if, if you're not planning that, you probably don't need the top two pad right there or the crossbar pad. And then, yeah, nice little basket here. This old school light. Yeah, pretty, uh, I guess a pretty janky setup all over kind of just whammed everything together 
we did upgrade the, the cables. I'm not sure if this is the crack that it's talking about, but this is just a scratch. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, but overall, pretty much it. I think not much to roast on this one. I think it's just a, just a pretty, uh, pretty standard build. Pretty, pretty bad looking overall. So there you go. All right. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for sending this. Took longer to read all the, <laughs> took longer to read the entire email, I think. All right, I'll roast you for this rusty bolt right here. All right, thanks, Tim. All right, next one is Falk. I'm pretty sure this is sent from my iPhone. Let's see, no picture on this email. Let's see the next one. All right, so he says, uh, Hey Gary, this is my Cersei 93 Resto mod. Roast or review? Question mark. Best regards from Germany, Falk. He also said review in his subject, so I won't go too hard on on him um, but yeah a little front shot here looks like he took a bit of effort gave me shot got the got the stand out and everything <laughs> so yeah he only sent he only sent this pick this this one pick so i guess first of all can't see anything um, but it looks like richie coyote bars they look pretty fun looks like a new type of frame um, i like the color of the frame i'm gonna roast him for your axle being too long right here this is going to bend if you rested on something. Going to roast you for your fender not being straight right here. And yeah, I think that's that's basically it. I think if you're going to take a front shot, you may as well line it up so it's completely straight. You can see it's kind of just tilted a little bit to the right. So yeah, kind of didn't take any effort at all. But yeah, overall, I kind of like these brakes. These brakes look kind of cool. And it's got XT, running XT here. Some type of cable maybe is running Dynamo too. But yeah, thanks for sending Falk. That was a funny one. All right, next one up is Ghost. Uh, so Ghost sent two emails. Looks like the first email was empty. And then the second email, I did all the modification by myself. I can go for more than 100 kilometers on it. All right, so Ghost just asked for a review. And these are the uh, pictures he sent. So this little top angle pic next to some of his laundry. Probably was just doing laundry and decided to take a photo, kill some time while he's waiting for it to wash. Um, but yeah, just a, a few photos here, a non-drive side shot. He just asked for a normal review. So yeah, overall pretty cool. It seems like you get you around. I'm not a really a fan of grip shifts, but if that's what you like, that's good for you. Yeah, that's really it. Not too much to say about this one. I think it's just kind of like a workhorse, kind of gets uh, banged around a bit. And yeah, thanks for sending in. Hope your laundry is clean. Thanks, Ghost. All right, next one is Alex. He says, hi, mate. Enjoy watching your channel. Here are a few pics of my heavy tools bike. It's a 1x11 speed retro mod running a mix of running a mixed match of parts. Feel free to roast my build. Cheers, buddy. All right. This one's definitely uh, looks pretty cool, I think. Looks like he upgraded a lot of parts. Got this uh, giant tall stem again. Got some cable coloring here running. Yeah, one by 11. Not sure what these cranks are. Running XT on the back. Got some, looks like pretty new or good condition. Marzocchi's XTR with some ringle or ringlay skewers here. And yeah, looks like looks like he got these custom built wheels as well. XTR brakes. Looks like, yeah, it looks like he decked it out a lot. XTR levers, another XTR lever. I think at this point, he's just kind of flexing his XTR parts. Brook saddle, flexing the brook saddle. I like these nice little bits here. This cabling's pretty nice, I think, too. Little back shot here of the brake booster. I'm not sure what this looks like. It looks like kind of like a fish or something. Just giant, giant cassette. These cranks. Yeah, not sure what these cranks are, but they look kind of cool. They look heavy duty. It looks like CNC cutout. Heavy tools. Never heard of that brand before. Running micro shift here. All right. So basically I'm just going to roast him for, <laughs> this is basically a parts flex bike. You just put a bunch of good parts on there and uh, try to show it off. I think this may maybe the, the best thing I can roast is him trying <laughs> to. So yeah, he's got this uh, poor stem here, but then he's also got this giant poor sticker. Just to let you know, he's, uh, he's kind of flexing his uh, poor stem. Look, I got a super expensive stem. Just in case you didn't see this, here's a huge sticker. Gonna roast you for this <laughs> brake cable for being too short. Yeah, that's basically it. I think this is basically just a parts flex bike. Just a bunch of good parts chucked on a bike and just showing it off. And you can see it doesn't really ride it because it's uh, super clean. May as well go with uh, slicks at this point. 
All right. Thanks for sending, Alex. Cheers. All right. Next one is Dylan. He said, hey, Gary, glad to share something with you. Wondering if you'd be interested in seeing this self-assembled Canada. It's actually from the 90s model M400 3.8 series aluminum. Can't find any information about this aluminum anywhere, to be honest. I came across it at a flea market. Unfortunately, someone else took it, took the order before me. But at my request, the seller kept it. Well, if I didn't like it very much, I wouldn't do it. Forgive me for only having a few pictures. My phone can't take pictures of scenery, sorry. But I still want to share it. By the way, watching your video, I like writing more. Thanks, mate. Here is some information about components. Most of them are ordinary. I find, but I find some very interesting. The crank is race face forged. I'm not sure because I bought it secondhand and the condition is not very good. So I polished and painted a purple anodic oxidization. So it seemed to have become new low. This is probably the most interesting part of all parts. Of course, there's also a secondhand V rocket that I bought for $10, which is also very useful. The Thompson Elite 50mm stem, also the right accessories. I don't seem to introduce much about others. They're all very cheap, but I think the fit is the most important thing. I hope to get your opinion. Criticize me, low. So yeah, overall pretty sick. I like the bike. Got some uh, fatter ties on there, some big bends. I would say really good job on the crank set here. It looks really good. I also like the touch of the, the quick release skewers, a little bit of purple matching the cranks and then this purple spacer not going overboard. It kept everything else black, looks kind of cool. You're starting to go overboard here with the color with the color straps, but yeah, not, not too bad. And then here's another pick here. Yeah, overall looks pretty cool. I think pretty clean build overall. I can roast you for this brake cable for being too long. I'm gonna roast you for having brake boosters on this bike. You probably don't need it. I think your aluminum is not gonna flex at all. I think maybe just for, you might need it more for steel. And then yeah, that's basically it. Overall pretty sick bike, I think. Looks pretty cool. Um, I like the handlebar kind of position. Looks like a fun cruisy ride. And then also here, he's got some uh, different color cables going on, but yeah. Overall, not too bad. Awesome. Nice build. Good find. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks for sending that in. All right. Next up is Finn. He just wants a review. He says, hi, recently bought this 1970s Peugeot frame for 25 pounds. First time building a bike and it went pretty smoothly. It has Sturmy Archer three speed, original crank set. Very happy with the Shimano toe clips. Okay. All right. So sent this reshot. I think this is just to show this cabling going underneath the, the chain stay here. I think honestly, I probably would have had it on the outside. I think it'll be a little bit smoother. Just some old brakes. Got some front rack action going on. Looks like a pretty fun bike, actually. Old Peugeot, kind of vintage style with the old graphics. Yeah, more of the old graphics. Looks pretty good. Even these uh, these rims are kind of crazy with the, with the engraving on the sidewalls. Never seen that before. And yeah, overall, here's a nice side pick. I think pretty sick. Pretty nice. Got a big rack going on. Comfy ride. Seat tilt back a little bit. And, and then also here, it looks like he has some type of internal shifting, internal shifting hub. Looks pretty cool. Got a kickstand as well. Easy to take photos when you got a kickstand. Yeah, overall pretty cool. I think you did a pretty nice job on your first one. I think, yeah, sometimes the vintage bikes are, or the yeah, 70s, 80s bikes are a little bit harder because they're harder to find parts on parts for and then he's got these older spds as well but yeah overall pretty cool cool vibe about it nice bike thanks finn thanks for saying that all right next one we got timmy all right timmy asked for a roast my 700c messenger spec hard rock 93 all right so i'm gonna roast you for the super long reach on this bike must be uh, hurting your back a little bit I'm gonna roast you for this giant chain ring up front this is probably like a 62 or something you're never going to use that when you're riding. And here you probably don't need to run a long, long cage derailleur for a, a tiny cassette on the back. Going to roast you for this thrasher sticker with no skateboard. Going to roast you for your brake cable being too long here and uh, your brake cable being too tight up here. Got to roast you here for the disgusting STI alien head shifters as well. And yeah, that's basically it, Timmy. Thanks for sending in. Probably better just getting a, getting a road bike at this point. Cheers. All right, next one is Sven. He asked for a roast. Hi, Gary. This is a 1992 Hard Rock that I bought on Craigslist and built up for my girlfriend who didn't have a bicycle. The wheels are stock, but everything else was replaced. Your videos inspired me to seek out a 90s mountain bike for the build. Have at it. Array of rims, Gravel King tires, Origin 8 cranks, USA made 36 chain ring, wake bars, Dura Ace 9 speed, Remac. 
Sunrace 1140 9-speed cassette with one cog removed to fit the free hub. Microshift 9-speed thummy. That'd be interesting. 9-speed thummy with a 9-speed cassette. Actually 8-speed because they removed one. So a little Royce there. I think that'd be a little bit funky. Don't even need to look at the picture. SE chunky grips. Supercats pedals. My own custom bike bag specially made for this bike. Thanks and be well, Matt. All right, Matt, the email's from Sven, but I'll take your word for it that your name's Matt. So you asked for a roast. So yeah, this is his, uh, his girlfriend's bike. And I'd say, I'd say it's a little, yeah, it's a little funky at the moment. I think it seems like it has a really tight front end, but then the, the rear end is really loose. You can see like the gap here, but then there's like a real tight gap between the pedals. I'm not sure if that's just this old style frame geometry or not but that's uh that's a little bit funky and then he's got this custom meditation custom meditation uh patch that he made i think he's just basically riding around telling everyone hey i just love yoga and then here's just some brake picks can't really even see the brakes running massive cassette here on the back durace on the back got a stem bag here got a thumb shifter shift it all the way to the highest gearing so when when your girlfriend pushes off it's just going to be super hard not sure what this brake cable thing is happening here but yeah overall it seems like a pretty cool bike seems like you put a bit of effort into it um, yeah hopefully uh your girlfriend likes it and your girlfriend likes riding it <laughs> cheers matt thanks for saying that in all right next one is brian what's up brian says hi gary thanks for your consideration this is my new bike 96 light speed classic titanium frame full campy group set and brakes i need to upgrade the pedals to something more modern hope all as well keep up the good work brian so i think he just wants a normal normal review but yeah i actually know brian from back in the us so yeah shout out brian never knew you had such uh such sick bikes so yeah look at this thing this thing is uh, absolutely a ripper light speed ti frame super rare and it's got these uh, aero wheels on there as well got these campy clip-ins running triple on the front yeah triple on the front small cassette on the back definitely can ride for hours and hours on this bike yeah what a great looking bike nice touch of yellow here on the front as well got the black forks matching the black hoods and black bars matching seat as well a nice muted green on the bag there yeah we all know we all know brian has pretty good taste so I think this is a this is a pretty classic feel from him yeah you got these old style classic bottle cages nice touch on these little accessory bits matching the the paint or the graphics yeah this is a rip of a bike for sure got a little light on the back doesn't need a light on the front because you know he'll be going so fast that everyone only sees him from the back <laughs> more picks here yeah these are these are carbon forks here i always like the old forks with where they have the graphic, uh, the name going vertical down, the forks. I always thought that looks super cool. And he's got these yellow grips here. And I like how he kept these yellow grips pretty clean as well. Nothing worse than seeing people who have yellow grips that are kind of like really stained. <laughs> some nice, uh, some super nice rims here. Some fat tires going on. Here's the frame. Yeah, super sick. Thanks, Brian. This is a, uh, yeah, this bike's awesome. Thanks for sending in. Definitely uh, my favorite bike so far. Cheers. Hope you're doing well. Cheers, Brian. All right. Next one is Phil. Phil Phil said, review or roast, whatever you think. Kia Aura from OT, Ota Terra, New Zealand. I probably said that wrong. Sorry, Phil. Is this a, still, still a thing? I don't know. I don't know what is a thing or not. I guess some people still say this if they're from New Zealand, right? They still say this uh, greeting. I guess if that's what you're referring to, if that's still a thing. Here's my favorite ride, a 94 Giant T-Rack track. T-Rack, it's well used and can cover a variety of terrain. Made a front rack out of a rear one, mostly XT bits, plus my favorite server wave brake handles, handle levers. Note the food bag my daughter made for me. Not perfect, but I made it and I like it. Who made the bag? You or your daughter? Oh, unless he's referring to his bike. And then here, Phil, sent from Proton Mail Android. Damn, 
with the Android Flex right there. All right, Bill, let's take a look. Okay, overall pretty sick bike. I like it. Running three by seven. Got the Maxxis DTHs. Got some nice accent cabling. I'm gonna roast you for this bag. Just sagging down. Looks a little bit funky. You can probably straighten that up. I'm not sure what this plastic bit is. I can't really see. Maybe there's another pick here. And then the little computer running XT on the rear. Got two water bottles in his water bottle cages. Respect. And then. XT on the front, got some cabling going on. Um, this pick's pretty blurry though. I do like these old style giant forks. I think they look pretty cool. And also got even a bolt mount for different type of racks. Yeah, overall looks like a beast. Looks like a touring type of beast or commuter. You can go for a long time on this, especially with the bull moose bars or bull horn bars, I mean. Um, but yeah, it's got even got a little computer going on. I wonder if he's got that hooked up. But yeah, probably does if he has it on there. Overall, nice job. Thanks, Phil. Nice bike. All right, next one is Liam. It says, hey, guy, I recently finished my build, teach myself along the way, which I really enjoyed. Some parts and some, some old parts and some new, relatively budget-friendly build. Started with finding the frame on Facebook Marketplace and went from there. Really happy how it turned out. Super fun and comfortable commuter. 91 Giant Innova SRAM 44. Chain ring, Dior 11, rear mech and shifter, old Shimano canty brakes, old giant stem and mountain bike handlebars, PE road wheel set, 700 by 40, Maxxis, Revers or Reavers. Thanks for the roast. So first roast, I'm going to roast you for sending these HEIC file types. Uh, I'm not going to be editing your images or anything like that, so you don't have to send me the, the raw files. All right, let's take a look. All right, so he sent me this uh, super small photo of his bike, but this is why I probably sent it in raw format, so I can zoom in. He wants he wants a roast, so let's see what we can roast him for. I'm going to roast him for his rack for being too high from his wheel. Um, so that's basically just wasted space here. He could lower this a little bit. And it's funny because he actually has the ability to lower the rack but he decided not to and then here running this uh, hipster bottle right there gonna roast him for this uh, awkward chicken bone type of stem action right there gonna roast him for his pedal arm not being parallel pointing a little bit up but then his pedal is pointing a little bit down let's see what other images we got what other raw images we have all right so he's got this pick cool little pick gonna roast him for these adidas uh kind of Soccer shoes, you might ask me why. I might ask you just to look at them. And then running Carhartt here, you can see, yeah, if he's running a map bottle, he's probably running Carhartt as well. We all know. <laughs> Gonna roast you for having cargo pants in 2024. All right, another pick here. Gonna roast you for your rack pointing up. Let's see what other picks he has. Little grass pick action, little reshot here. This is a pretty nice shot. I'll give you that one, Liam. Nice. Looks pretty good. And then another little grass shot here. All right, let's go back to uh, this shot. Yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty sick bike. It's a nice setup. I like the color. I like the tan, tan walls with the purple. I think that looks really good. And yeah, it has a little, some little graphics and stickers here. It looks pretty rad. I think anything, if you just clean up this area of your uh, of your stem, it will look uh, look pretty sick. But yeah, overall, super nice build. Thanks for sending, Liam. Cheers. All right, next up is Mark. And he says, hey, Gary, spelled my name wrong. <laughs> All right, Mabu Hey here in Philippines. Review, please review my bike. Acquired last January from a thrift store. Re uh, retro Muddy Fox, Retro Mod, converted to a cruiser commuter and a bike packing bike okay he just wants a normal review so yeah this is his bike overall this is kind of uh i think probably like more like rib inspired bike again with the high bars lower seat super cruisy super tall got this massive cassette on the back this has got to be going up to like 50 or something i think and then he's got a little front rack here looks pretty tidy uh, more picks here got a nice little fat basket bag Looks like a custom basket bag. Got these uh, little ties matching his cables. Patinaed frame. Running RM20 rims here. Old school. Um, but yeah, overall looks like a pretty cool bike. Looks pretty solid. Looks like you get you around. Another picture of the frame bag. And it's got a little peg here in case he wants to do grinds. Probably just for a light actually. Last pick all packed up. I probably would have kept the basket on the front if you're going um, bike packing or whatever. So you can carry more stuff. And then running... Uh, 
frame bag and a stand here. Yeah, nice. Overall looks pretty cool. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for sending that in. All right, next one is Joan Jonas. He said, got this booter here, 94 Bianchi Whistler. And he just wants a review. Yeah, this is pretty sick. I dig it. Haven't seen this frame before. And yeah, I dig the, the paint. You never really see like deeper colors matched up like this with uh, the bright Bianchi Celeste there. Um, but yeah, super cool. I like the, the fatter tires, nice little gravel, running single speed. Pretty nice build. Got the gravel bars here. Propped up a little bit higher, so it's a little bit more comfortable as well. Um, but yeah, overall, this is sick. Super nice, nice grip job here. Jonas, pretty even, pretty neat. Got the SRAM levers on there, single speed levers. Got these kind of cool canty brakes as well. I was running this twisted lace. Apparently this twisted lace is uh, meant to make your spoke tension a little bit stronger. But yeah, I prefer just a traditional. And it's got this little bent, just a little bent brake cable there. Uh, yeah, this is a nice shot of how to get a shot actually lined up. This is a reference to the, the bike, the green bike earlier. If you want to take a shot like this, just, yeah, you may as well just line it up straight. You can see it's even got it through the seat. So nice job, Jonas, on that. I would try to line up your canty brake cable hanger as well in the middle. You can see it's over to the right a little bit. You can just adjust the, adjust the cable a little bit and should fix that. And then it also looks like it could be the angle, but it also looks like your wheel is dished a little bit too much to the left you can even that out could be the angle though but yeah all right so all right so down here he just says uh, yeah it just has the parts here snowflake wheels richie venture max bars Sally italia seat grx cranks Schwal schwalbe racing tires racing ralph tires excited for your review and roast uh, he said uh, review so we're kind of i think i kind of let him off easy with the roast but yeah probably just this stuff if you can fix up that stuff i think it'd be uh, pretty good and then yeah i'm gonna roast you for these lace tubs these lace wheels seems kind of like messy to me <laughs> but yeah overall pretty sick cool looking bike thanks jonas thanks for sending that in all right next one is norman norman asked for a roast hey gary you the best please roast my built give me the rest i try to do a like little rhyme here maybe he's a Maybe Norman is a, a rapper. All right, so he asked for a roast. So yeah, overall on this bike, I'd say it's a picture in shadow. So we'll go straight to the next pick. Another picture in shadow with his own shadow covering it up. All right, he's got some cool bars here with some Richie grips, some yellow grips running three by three by seven, it looks like. Looks like he got these, uh, got some nice wheels for them too, some new tires. XH cranks, gonna roast you for the chain wear on your front ring right here. You need to replace that. Rear cassette looks all right. I think you can keep running that a little bit. Thanks for the nice close up shot. All right. So yeah, overall, pretty nice bike, not too much to roast. I think most of the two picks that show the side of the bike are kind of in shadow. So let's see what we can do. Gonna roast you for this little accessory here, like this little earring. On the back of the saddle that's not necessary gonna roast you for this little steerer popping out the top <laughs> gonna roast you for the front mac cable hanger is this how it goes i don't know if it goes straight from the chain stay here i feel like there would be some type of brazing a little bit closer but maybe this is how this frame is but this seems kind of strange never seen that before but yeah overall pretty cool bike i like it looks like a pretty uh fun Fun type of ride with the swept back bars, fatter tires, and you kept it pretty clean as well with the colors, just a yellow on here. I'd be interested to see if you just had kind of black grips on here, just to see what it looked like. Um, but yeah, if you like the yellow grips, then run it. All right, Norman, thanks for sending, and good luck with the wrapping. All right, next one is Tim. Tim just wants a normal review. He says, greetings, here's my daily bike, rain or shine and snow. 700c replace everything on the bike now except headset seat post and brakes build frame is unknown german 62 trek trek and grad front dynamo wheel pizza rack early some rice bars avid levers micro shift thummy root rooks rooks mountain bikes shimano 180 cranks 10 speed sensor rear mech big bend tires that's all about it thanks for all you do tim cheers tim all right yeah pretty cool bike he just wants a normal review, I think. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. It just looks like a nice, all blacked out, pretty uh, pretty good for locking up, not track 
not attracting too much attention and he's got this kind of like massive chain here as well and i think i think this would be a nice deterrent as well got a nice little front pizza rack on here got some fender action happening yeah it looks pretty cool overall jazzed it up here with some of the chain ring bolts and the cable got a little bent cable here maybe from carrying stuff in the rack got pushed up against it got a heavy duty lock nice another front shot got a diy mount Boys light, which is pretty cool. And it's got a cargo netting as well on his front rack. But yeah, over, overall pretty cool. Pretty nice bike. I think this is a, a great everyday bike. He might also be uh, running a dynamo up front. I don't know if you mentioned that. Yeah, front dynamo wheel, probably connected to his light. So yeah, a bit of a, a sleeper build, has some nice parts on it, um, but doesn't attract too much attention. Cool, nice Tim, thanks for sending that in. All right, next one is Nicola. Nicola, what's up Gary, man? What's up, Nicola? 57 XT track frame, Rebel Disc 3, clincher track wheel set, GP 500, Continental, Continental 25s, 150. Wow, damn, 150 stem. It's got that long stem going on. Uh, some bike dock handlebars, 152 Pro Stealth saddle. Means his, this guy is pretty big. 165 Notorious crank set. I run anything between 16, 18, all the way up to a whopping 60, 15 gearing depending on discipline and training plan i run 1617 for the most uh, garmin computer mount on saddle greetings from land of vanguard people thanks nicola and he asked for a bike roast so yeah i'm gonna roast you for flexing your your ratio right here 1617 not much to flex when you're just riding on a velo though i feel like that's gearing's kind of small for a velo and then he's got his uh, upright stem here and this uh, saddle so since you're on a velodrome i'm gonna roast you for not having this flipped the other way for more aero position goes computer on the back here oh, this picture is pretty sick it's all kind of all blacked out bike pretty nice looks like uh yeah looks like a piece of a uh, piece of carbon or something and then yeah here's his bike looks built for speed tt style i think he could go a little higher on his chain ring i think his chain ring's a little bit too small here he can probably start hitting 70 or 72 um, but yeah this is definitely just a, a indoor bike cool bars i've never seen these bars before but they look pretty sick this is a super futuristic bike but yeah overall super sick thanks for sending looks like a sick bike Thanks, Nicola. Cheers. All right, next one is Bio. I ride that bike for 15 years and it's been my online bike since then. I used to get around the city and dirt road. The bike is mostly an original online major modification. I was converting it to 26 to 700 by 35. And he just wants a review. All right, so a little close-up picture of the wheel here. Um, these, brakes, these brakes look pretty cool. I think these are just like eBay or AliExpress brakes, but the shape of them look pretty cool. And then here's his bike. Yeah, it looks like a pretty fun bike. Looks like a bike that would get you around. Uh, I think this is just like an everyday type of bike that he's done up. The Geo looks pretty comfy as well. You got the close-up riser bars and the seat back a little bit. It'd be a pretty uh, decent ride. Awesome. Thanks for sending. I also like the pedals. Cheers, Lubio. Thanks for sending that. All right, next one is Evan. Bike check. Hi, Gary. This is my giant ATX 770. My dad bought it new in 93. Since then, I took it and I changed it up a bit. He put so many miles on these wheels and the rims actually concave from wear. Campy wheels, XT components, wall basket, DH tires, one Traeger stem. Roast it, please. All right. Let's take a look. All right, first up, I'm going to roast you for taking your dad's pants and taking his uh, suspension straps off his pants, as well as taking his bike and putting them on, on the front basket. Pretty sure he's probably not happy about you taking all his stuff. And then here's another pick. Maybe there's one more. Let's see. All right, so I pick here, going to roast you for the seat going all the way down. Um, that's going to hurt your knees a bit, I think. Um, but I do like the upgrade on the tires. Looks pretty nice. Going to roast you right here for losing one of your dad's suspension straps again. Um, but yeah, these are, that's basically it. I guess overall, pretty nice ride. I can also see you upgraded the pedal here. The pedals on the side here to these silver bigger flat ones other than the plastic ones. I think that looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, overall, looks like a pretty fun bike. Nice job on saving it from your dad. And yeah, give your dad his pants back. Cheers, Evan. Thanks for sending. All right, next one is Liam. He said, roast me, baby. So sent this giant pic. All right, so, so yeah, let's see. 
Oh, yeah, I think he just sent, okay, he sent this pick and then he sent another pick of the same bike, I think. Yeah, same bike. I think he just sent it, tw uh, sent it twice or replied to himself. All right, so let's take a look. So first thing I'm going to roast you for is your derailleur. <laughs> your derailleur here and your chain being too short. I don't think your derailleur is ever meant to be pointing down like that. That seems kind of crazy. I think you got to look at your chain length and you might be able to fix that a little bit, give it a little bit more slack. It's hurting right now. And then got a nice little classic frame here. Got some uh, dirt on the tires or some grass on the tires. Looks like you've been riding around a little bit unless you propped it up and picked these up with your hands and just put it on the tires. Got a nice little jack the rack front rack here. Uh, I haven't tried this before, but they seem pretty decent. I wonder how much they can hold. And then got a nice little front light here. Got some brake cables going on. Looks like you're, yeah, you're running one by seven, one by eight, one by nine, something like that. Gonna roast you for having no bottles in the bottle cages. Nice little slicks here. Um, but yeah, overall seems like a pretty fun bike. Nice little setup. Did some nice little upgrades on it. I think you could, uh, you spent so much effort propping this bike up with uh, the stick and putting the grass on the tires. I think the least you can do is make this crank arm a little bit straighter. But yeah, overall cool bike. Thanks for sending Liam, pretty cool. All right, next up is Fran and he says, review, here's my bike. Looks like he sent a couple of emails as well. Um, I think he just sent the same email twice. All right, so he has group set, Shimano, Shimano Dior, wheel set, Araya, TM18 double wall, parallax hubs, Acera V brakes, sake stem, specialized saddle, Schwell Billy Bonkers 2.1. And he just wants a review. All right, so not sure which pictures to look at. I think this picture is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, overall pretty sick. I like it. Looks like a cool bike. I like the straight forks on here. Looks really clean. This frame in this color is uh, pretty nice as well. Kind of like a matte finish it looks like from this photo. And running these classic LX cranks, XT rear. Pretty tidy bike. Classic look to it with the straight stem, straight bars. Geo looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, these are just the other picks. I think this is an I-beam stem. Just an old school I-beam stem. But yeah, pretty nice build. Pretty clean. Looks like a nice street city runner. It's got the Coda bars here matching up with the Cannondale frame. Um, but yeah, I think these forks are also super hard to find. These are like P-bone forks, pretty sure. And got a little stand here as well. But yeah, super nice build, super classy. Didn't go overboard with the colors. I like these brake levers as well, these straight style LX brake levers, haven't really seen those. It's even got Dakota seat post clamp as well, pretty nice. All right, nice bike. Thanks Fran, thanks for sending that in, pretty sick. Gotta love, uh, gotta love a Cannondale. All right, next one is, all right, this is uh, Manu. Hello Gary, this is my bike, an early 90s BH Supra Rat El Cheapo look. I replaced 3x6 transmission with a Shimano Nexus 8-speed gear hub. In combination with Billy Bonkers soft Diego saddle, I got a very smooth ride. Roast my bike. All right, going to roast you for your chain being too long right here, a little too much slack, getting a little bit wonky. I think the chain might actually be buckled in certain places. Usually it's, uh, a chain shouldn't kind of sit like that, seem maybe a little bit stiff. Maybe if you lube it up, it might help a little bit. Going to ro roast you for having your pedal and your helmet here. Try not to uh, damage your helmet, otherwise it's not going to work when you crash. And then it's got some DIY front rack action, which is pretty cool. Going to roast you for your quick release lever, being on the wrong side and pointing down. Some more shots here. Going to roast you for some bent bars and these wacky grips right here. I'm not sure if these are taking off a kid's bike or a kid's scooter or something like that. Gonna roast you for a grip shift. <laughs> not a fan of that. All right, it's got some brakes here. Gonna roast you for your brake cable not being in your brake. That's gonna be an issue. More shots here, the graphics. Nice water bottle in the holder. Um, you probably need to fill it up a bit. You're gonna only got a little bit left here. And then gonna roast you for this either rusty or dirty frame section. Another pick with the bent bars. And that's it. Awesome, thanks Manu. Looks like a pretty fun bike though. I do like the colors. It's pretty cool. Thanks for sending. All right, next one is Chaffa. 
He asked for a roast. He says, hi, Gary. Greetings from Boston, MA, USA. I've been following your bike build restorations for a few years now. All your content has been super helpful. Thanks. Thanks, Chuffa. Please roast my old Gary Fisher Huku utility build. I took a lot of inspiration from your videos. Ge geometry might not be perfect and the frame might be a bit small for me, but it's such a good city bike with the max utility in mind. So yeah, already self-roasting here. Last post as Boston Tea Party ship in the background. List of mods and upgrades below. Troll Big Band Plus, Surly Troll Front Fork, Same Handlebars. Can't remember which of these, maybe the Osprey ones. Bontrager rear, bike rack modified for the front using Gary project method, six style basket for front rack, salsa bike bag, uh, not a well-designed bag, but it's waterproof. Thanks again, Chuffa. Thanks, Chuffa. All right, once a little bit of roast here. Yeah, overall it looks pretty cool. Gonna roast him for having too much rust on his handlebars right there. And gonna roast him for a bent basket, kind of like mine. Looks like it's been through a few crashes. <laughs> Going to roast you for having a fender on the back, but not a fender on the front. Going to roast you for non-matching rims here. Now let's see what else he's got. Going to roast you for your saddle pointing too far forward. Going to hurt your knees. Oh, I don't know. This might not be rust. This might be actually some DIY action or he painted himself. But I got to roast him for resting his avid lever on the ledge here. <laughs> Definitely going to scratch up your lever here and a little bit, uh, a little bit disrespectful to these old style avid lovers gonna roast you for some rusty bolts as well nice little diy rack action nice job even with the little light mount on the front gonna roast you for having too many mounts on your forks right there and here's the side shot overall pretty cool though i like uh i like this green frame this green color frame with the uh, straight forks i think it looks pretty cool and then i think these tires will give you a nice smooth ride smooth comfy ride basket on the front super useful and yeah Thanks for sending in, Jaffa. Nice bike. Cheers. All right, next one is Leo. Review or roast? My 95 TT Ricochet. All right, so yeah. Overall, this is a pretty sick bike. I think it has a pretty cool stance. Looks super beefy up front. Nice GT frame. And these uh, custom forks, it looks like. Got a dropper happening. Got these uh, fat tires on, off-road tires. Looks like it goes off-road a bit. You can see the dirt is uh, on his ingrain in his tires. Looks like he has a little trailer mount here as well, running one by nine or something like that. Got some pedal upgrades with these super tall pins. He got this bottle mount where you can strap it up tight or small bottles. But yeah, overall looks pretty cool. I like the bars. I think they're Jones bars or something like that. Pretty sick overall. Little front shot. I think this area looks like it gets a bit of crime because it's got an emergency crime sticker here and it's got like another giant sign here. So yeah, stay safe out there. Got to roast him for this cabling work going around the, the top two. That's a little bit unnecessary, I think. And then yeah, here it is. Pretty sick. This looks like a great bike. Pretty fun. I'm into it. All right. Thanks for sending Leo. Nice bike. Cheers. All right, next up is Andrew. He said, for Rose, hello there. First, I really appreciate content and what you do with bikes. Really inspiring. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate that. Here's my old Miata 610 set up in winter mode with custom root beer powder coated fenders. The bike shop I work for just had them laying around over three years. 650B conversion, 38C tires, long reach brakes. I'm old, 31, and need a more upright position. <laughs> 31 is definitely not old. But he wants to roast Andrew B at bike dumps. All right, this is a bike. All right, overall, pretty sick, I think. Pretty sick bike. Let's see what we can roast him for. All right, I guess I'm going to roast him for this this uh, floppy saddle cover. I think you don't really need that on. I bet he's probably hiding something under here, just like maybe a real old ratty saddle. And he just want to put something over the top just so, just in case to hide it. This is kind of like a sleeping bag cover. You don't really use the cover for anything. You actually take it off when you use it. So if you ride with this on, I would uh, definitely lose a few points there. All right, going to roast him for this super straight cable here. I think this cable is too short, but he probably wanted to help his back a little bit and uh, fix it up. So he probably got a taller stem and then... He just raised everything up by just stretching this cable. And then here he's got a little front rack action. Looks pretty good. Can run panners. It's on Miata frames. Pretty classic. Nice tall bike. One less car. Top two pad. I think I like top two pads, but 
I don't think he needs one if he's not a messenger. And then here you're gonna roast him for crank arm not being straight. I'm gonna roast him for having the light here. I think he can just move the light up here and he'll get way more visibility as well. And yeah, that's basically it. I think overall this bike is pretty sick. I, uh, I'm into it. This has like the right amount of like customization without going overboard. It looks pretty cool. And yeah, if, if I were to roast anything, I would just, yeah, probably roast you for having a bad back at 31. Maybe uh, just try and get some exercise or do some stretching and stuff like that. <laughs> All right, that's basically it. I feel like I got through a lot that time. Thanks for watching. If you sent, I'll get to it soon. And yeah, let me know which is your favorite. I know which one's mine for sure. See if you can guess it. I'll catch you next one. Peace.